Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the large and small functions in Excel. Now, in our last video, we looked at how we use max and min to get the highest and lowest value within a range of values. Now, the large and small functions work in a similar manner, but rather than just returning the highest or the lowest, you can select a particular position within your data set that you want to find. So for example, if we want to use it to find the highest, we would type equals large. Then you'd select your array. In this instance, we want to find the highest coursework mark. So we're going to select our coursework and we want to find the highest. So we want the first position. So the first largest value within that array. And we're going to close our brackets and we're going to hit enter and you'll see you get 0.89 and 89% is what was returned when we used our max function. So we're going to format these really quickly as percentages. And you can do the same thing. So I'm just going to make this formula an absolute so that I can copy it down. And what I want to do is I want to change this so it's giving me the second largest within the array. And if we hit enter, you'll see this has now become 82. And if we scroll down through our data, you'll see that 82 is the second largest. Similarly, we can change this to a three to get the third largest. And we'll see it's 81. Once again, 81 is our third largest. We can do the same thing with the lowest scores. So if we say equals small, we then want to select our array again. I'll make it absolute straight away this time. And we want our first smallest, so our lowest or our minimum mark. And we get 53. And if we look back over to when we used our min function, you get 53% as well. Copying that down, we'll change this to the second smallest, so two, and this one to the third smallest. And you can do a quick check through. Yes, 59 is our second smallest and 65 is our third. This can be quite useful because you can actually change these. So if we want to change these and we want to order our data so we get the first to the 10th, what we can do is instead of typing the number one in here, we can actually point it to this number one here. I'm just going to lock this to the column. And in the same way, we'll do the same thing and point to the cell. And now when we drag this down, you'll get your data ordered from first to tenth. And in a similar manner, our lowest value from bottom to top. So essentially these should be mirror images of each other. And if we scroll down and scroll up, you can see that they are. Large and small are arguably more useful than max and min. It does allow you to pick a particular position of number to pull out of your data set. And it can help you if you want to order an array from largest to smallest. I do hope that you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe. Leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video.